Day three and pulling up to the job and looks like there's guys sitting out utilities, uh, the locates for the utilities, for the water lines, they did uh, the gas line and the fiber optic line yesterday. So uh, guys, that's so important. 811, call before you dig. <clears throat> but trusses are here. Josh sent me a text with some pictures, so pulling up real quick. Of course, skid steer is still down. I've got to go up to Monroe and grab the parts for it this morning. And if this is your first time watching, thanks so much for joining us today. It is a series and this is day three. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, check out the previous videos on our channel. Um, I'm King Rancher 13 and I'm just doing what I love every day. Uh, this is our uh, new shop and got the trusses pulled in. So I'm gonna go ahead and check out, see what they dropped off. Is that the smell of new trusses? <laughs> what? Look at those babies. Dang. I wonder if the skid steer with a force could go hot, like if it would need a boom. Yeah. Man, that was. If we were just sitting straight sideways. Yeah. Might get that high, but that's okay. That's yeah. High. 10 foot, right? Yeah. Mm. Man, I wish I could build, I wish I, I wish I could build like a little boom. Yeah. are still down yeah so i'm gonna go well summer and i we have a baby appointment at nine and so i'm gonna go pick up that new belt and then when we come back i'll replace it and then i'll call in mike your truck looks good in here gosh that gives me like i can put free <laughs> barely bumped the table. <laughs> uh, Mike is that type of boss to sit in his truck. <laughs> in the AC. <laughs> So I don't think I've showed y'all this yet, but I've got a secret room. And so if that's the office on the other side of the shop, right here, I've got a secret room. Okay, just kidding, it's not a secret room. It's just storage space for inventory and stuff like that. And then um, later on, on this left side with all these other garage doors, I think I'm gonna put a door right here, a 12 by 12 door um for i don't know maybe like a little wash bay area because i did put that drain in there and so it'd be nice having both walls so that water's not getting everywhere into the rest of the shop um so potential future putting a door there might, not sure how long down the road it might be but um this other side is going to be um kind of like storage um i don't know i mean i mean it's pretty tall so i like to couple shelves or something like that here and put um, random stuff in there. Um, on this side over here, um, so we're going to be doing an upstairs area all throughout there. Right here is going to be steps either going this way or 
coming down this way, but we haven't decided that yet. So we'll get there once this whole wall's built out. And then when we get to the second phase, which is the second floor, then we'll kind of figure out what we're gonna do. All right, so got back from baby doctor appointment and running and grabbing the new belt and all that kind of jazz. So now I'm pulling up to the shop and let's see how far they got because Josh told me uh, it's looking, it's coming along pretty good. So let's see. This little hundred dollar piece is why this is down. All right, let's try this out. of truth uh, already lost $300 today they had to rent a machine to unload the plywood only if I had that stupid belt a few hours earlier but let's see how it goes oh, don't look All right, starts up moment of truth right here let's see if the hydraulics work Oh, let's get some AC in here first. Woo! Let's go! Super stoked. All right, well, I'm gonna get moving with the rest of this dirt I was trying to finish up yesterday. And, uh, and then after I get done with a little bit of this, then we'll go inside and see how far they got. She lives! Yeah, I think if anything, this might be maybe a little bit bigger. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, let me let me let's see. Switch out the forks, get that other thing off rent. This looks awesome. <laughs> oh snap. This is my office. This is the hallway. And this hallway will go to 
Oh, crap. Hey, Josh. I think we forgot a door. Going into the break. Did we have a door I door? I kept looking at that. I went back on both of mine and looked, and we didn't We didn't have it. one. So I was actually, if we could still put one in, I was going to ask you about it. I thought yeah. about that earlier. I, I think, I that's, I think that's what I was supposed to do, and I don't know if I put it in or not. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it would make sense, I guess. Right. Yeah, we can easily throw one in. Yeah, <laughs> because I was thinking, wait. Yeah. Where's the hole? <laughs> I was thinking, and Colby said, I said, man, maybe we should see if I'm just throwing a door in. So. I think that's what we meant yeah. to do and forgot. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out our next order for that. Gotcha. Next order. This is going to be Summer's office. Window there. And then this is kind of like the lounge area. Bathroom. Front door. And then this hallway goes to okay. nothing. No. <laughs> there was meant to be a door there. I forgot. But right now, we'll just go th right through. This is the break room, kitchen area. And then this is gonna be the bathroom. Toilet there, toilet there. Sink right here, sink right there. And then we're gonna make this a little utility closet or something. And then I think stairs are gonna go maybe right here or right here. We haven't figured that out quite yet. Look at all those trusses. Plywood, ready to go. Well guys, it is about nine o'clock at night and uh, out here at the shop. I didn't feel this because I was just in the moment, but I was moving a little bit of dirt around just before I wrapped up for the day and I smell some smoke or something and then all of a sudden in the cab there's a bunch of smoke so immediately I uh, turned off the skid steer and I ran out opened up the back and where we had just put the new belt it was eating through the side plastic cover and that was the smell of plastic and belt rubber mash meshing together and burning up together and so I um, had uh, one of the guys from Bobcat come out here, take a look at everything. I, before he came, I took the whole thing apart again and got everything, all the belt and everything back on. And what looked like it happened is the bolts came off again. And so uh, anyways, the belt's still hopping and stuff. I think it's the idle pulley berries maybe or something like that went out so i'm gonna take it up to monroe in the morning so we're loading up and uh i guess i'll see y'all in the next video